The existing light water nuclear power plants in the world use fuel rods which contain enriched uranium. In the nuclear fuel production chain cycle, the enriched uranium, after going through various stages, should go through other technical procedures, such as conversion to fuel tablets and rods, to become ready for use in the nuclear power plant. The fuel pellet and rod manufacturing factory, known as FMP, is considered the final stage in the nuclear fuel production chain. Esfahan, a city revealing the memory of the past glory and civilization of Iran. The fuel pellet and rod manufacturing factory and the nuclear fuel complex known as FMP is being constructed at a distance of 15 kilometers from southeastern Isfahan. Currently under construction, it is another link in the nuclear fuel production chain which will play a very important role in the production of power plant fuel and it is in the process of being completed through the efforts of the nuclear experts. On one hand, Due to the lack of technical expertise for the construction of such a factory in the country, and on the other hand, due to the lack of cooperation from countries holding this technology, the country's young and educated engineers launched the scientific and practical organization of this factory and conducted different stages of its construction based on a well-planned scheme and within a framework of technical expert groups. Undoubtedly, the launching and completion of the factory for the production of fuel pellets and rods and the fuel complex known as FMP is another step forward toward reaching technical independence in the production of the necessary fuel for the power plants under construction. It can bring relief to concerns in the country relating to the breakdown of international cooperation in providing nuclear fuel. In the nuclear fuel production chain, the fuel pellet and rod manufacturing factory and the fuel complex are considered among some of the most sensitive parts of the nuclear fuel production chain. The lack of cooperation with Iran from countries possessing nuclear technology provided a valuable opportunity for the nuclear scholars of our country to launch the construction of the fuel pellet and rod manufacturing factory and the fuel complex under the supervision of intelligent management. The end product will be a fuel which can be sent to the power and research reactors as a final fuel. The FMP factory receives the uranium dioxide powder in two forms, natural and enriched, from the UCF, and the zirconic hollow sheaves from the ZPP factory. Then this powder is transformed into a raw pellet by going through various stages and is brought to a desired level of density. After this stage, the raw pellets are continuously baked in an oven at a high temperature. The baked pellets are then placed inside hollow sheaths made of zirconium. The two ends of the sheath are immediately welded by using a resistance and electroradiation method and then the fuel rods undergo a meticulous quality control process. Next, the fuel rods are anodized and installed in the fuel complex frame in another room. 
The number of fuel rods, the size of the tablets, and the size of the fuel complex are determined based on the power and the geometry of the reactor in which this fuel is to be used. The rods which are installed in order on the frame of the fuel complex, along with other elements, form the final fuel complex. The fuel complex formed in this matter is packaged after going through a quality control procedure and is ready for use in nuclear reactors. With the construction of the FMP factory in Isfahan, the country's nuclear industry will acquire the final link of the nuclear fuel production chain. Presently, this hope has turned into a certainty. By launching and completing the FMP factory, another road towards the national independence and self-reliance of the country has been traversed.